Hi, we're going to work on the Scrabble worksheet tab. I am in page layout view. I need to hide this. I'm in page layout view and I like to work in normal view. So I'm going to click over here on the icon for the page views. I can use my zoom slider to slide in or out as I want to. So this one's fairly easy. We're going to take our Scrabble scores across the top and we're going to make sure we merge and center the title. So here's merge and center. And it's nice to set it to an 18 or 20, something bigger. Okay, we need to get the average of the scores. So you do not want to do it the long math way of, let's see, B4 plus C4 plus B4 all divided by three. First of all, in that formula, the problem is it's going to add the numbers together, but it's only going to divide D4 by 3 because it follows the order of operations of mathematics. So I need to add the parentheses in so it will follow the, it'll do it correctly because we want to add the numbers together, then divide by the count of numbers. So that should work. However, that is wrong. It's a bad way to do it. You want to work smart, not hard. So if you're working with an average, maybe the functions has an average. You're certain they do. Oh, look, and there it is. You can type in average, or you can have average right here. There it is. I can click it and say OK. And then it guesses the numbers I want. Do I want B4 to D4? So if I wanted something else, I'd go through the little red door. I highlight what I want. I go back through the little red door. And that's the range of cells, so that's called a range of cells. And I say, OK. And there it is, which I had before. Even easier, click where you want the average, go to your auto sum icon, click average. And I don't want E4, so I have to tell it I want B5 to D5. That's the cell range. Once you have them selected, hit enter. If you make a mistake in a cell, like if I go back here and I accidentally um, um, here and I click by accident over there or something. You can always hit escape. Even easier than that, watch the magic. I think this will work. I highlight the numbers. I go to my auto sum icon and I click average. Oh, wrong way. Control Z. So that didn't work. We'll try one more. Highlight the numbers and the blanks. Go to auto sum icon. I didn't want the auto sum. Excuse me. I wanted the average. Control Z. What a mess. Control Z. One more time, auto sum average. Aha, I knew it was there, just didn't have it quite right the first time. So let's repeat that. I'm gonna do control Z. An easier way is you can just highlight the numbers and then you can hit auto sum icon. That's just sigma, your Greek letter S, the sideways M, and you click average. Or you could do all of them at once. This is so cool. Go to auto sum icon. Choose average, but you notice I highlighted where I wanted the average to go this time. I'm getting smarter. And click average, and there they are. And I already formatted it as bold. I spot check the last one. Is it B19 to D19? Correct. Now the highest, you want equals in the formula for highest. Let's see if there is one. How about if I type in here highest? Hmm doesn't do it. Well, you might have to know a little more. It's actually called the maximum. I use a fancy math term. And there it is, max. So I say, OK. And it guessed what I want. But I don't want to 20, so I go through the little red door. Highlight B4 to B19, and I hit Enter. And I say, OK. And there it is. And then you autofill across. For the lowest, maybe auto sum has it. If it was max for the biggest, lowest must be min. And I don't want those numbers, so I select the ones I want. I hit enter. Average, it's gonna to try to average these two for me, which is gonna be a mess. So I'm going to, I can just type it in, equals average. Open parentheses, you must have the open parentheses. Highlight the numbers you want. Hit enter. That's beautiful. I can autofill across. That's wonderful. 
I can center align it so it matches above. That's just gorgeous. What else did we have to do? Set the column title, that's okay. Create formulas, highest, lowest, and averages. List the names in alphabetical order. The column widths are okay. Put calculations in bold. I did that for you, so that's all good. So alphabetical order. You click in the name, the list that you want to alphabetize. And then you look for the sort command, and here it is. And I want to sort in ascending order, but I'm going to go to custom sort. Okay, do I have a header row? Yes, I do. Okay, so now it says sort by player. And I want to sort in ascending order, which is A through Z. And I say, okay. And we're all set. Sorry, forgot something. Control Z undo. I want to make sure I don't mess up the numbers. So Labihan is 301. And when I do control Y to undo my undo, Labium L is 301. So you spot check to make sure you didn't mess things up. And that's how you do Scrabble. Go down to the directions. You can hit delete or you can use the clear command and you can clear all. And we're all done with the checkbook. So you right mouse click and you can color it so you know you're done. Okay.